So here we go. We've got Rich Franklin, Travis Luter. You know what? what that, that was just crazy because there's no cardio from Luter. And I picked Luter from Texas. I, gotta I took pick, him too. You took him too? Yeah. Really? He had to oh. represent Texas. Oh, that's you, you, you like grapplers. That, that's his whole thing. You know what? And I was very impressed because Luter took it down pretty quick. Yeah. Got him down. But did you see that knee shot? When he got knee in the belly at that very first initial one yeah. by Franklin, I think that kind of, you took know. Took all of his, his I, I think, Yeah, it, it, that, was the, that was the beginning of the end. You know, Rich Franklin is really good in the clinch. I don't think Travis Luter really understood how good he was because everything that Travis Luter came in, he just broke it down and knees and just up, do the uppercuts, everything. Franklin was on, you know, he was even tired a little bit. Did you see that, that perfect like roll out of that arm bar? That was that hurt me. the best defense That's that I've seen. That's 101 Jiu Jitsu. That is 101 escape. He hitchhiked out. The thumb was down. For Travis Luter being a black belt, he didn't control that thumb. That thumb has to be up in the air and that elbow's locked. And Rich Franklin just rolled and rolled, you know. Luda brought it though the first round. I, I definitely think that was his he, game plan to go ahead out. and finish Franklin real quick with and submission. He took them out, and then Travis Franklin didn't let him get off and start pounding him. That was really yeah. cool. That Tra uh, Franklin was really holding back and really holding good jujitsu for Franklin. Definitely. But it came down to who had the cardio. Yeah. And it was endurance. One out on that one. Yeah, it was a grappling match. It was a wrestling all the hoop, and Franklin just just a stud. Franklin just pulled it out. Franklin he was had tired. to bring it back yeah. after Silva. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, he he's had coming to win back. Some. He's definitely coming back. Yeah. I think Travis Luter just made a mistake somewhere in his training. It, apparently, it was obvious that he made a mistake in his training. Yep. So here we go. Franklin clearly won, clearly beat down. Franklin walked away with a win, second round. God, I mean, you know, okay, I want to bring something up. John Fitch is a good teammate of mine, and John Fitch says that G GSP does not stand and strike like he used to. And I, I, I sitting at the table tonight, I told my buddy, I was like, I guarantee GSP is going to be the first one to shoot, and he did. But then again, GSP is a true mixed martial artist. But John Fitch pointed out that GSP won't stand. He'll take him down, stand back up, take him down. Won, and he, right? that's clearly how he won. Can take someone down to the ground? No, I, of course no. not. <laughs> but, but you know what? GSP had the great game plan. He set it out there. He's going to take him down, beat him at his own game, get him tired, and take the win. And that's what he did. I mean, Sarah. Was uh, that was amazing. I think that that's exactly what everybody wanted to see. Uh, GSP definitely took it back. It sucks that Sarah just kind of seemed like fluke, but Sarah well, worked mean, it too. You got you got to hear that crowd. That crowd was just like you know, ole, ole. I mean, they were just going partying nuts. tonight. You know, Matt Sarah is you know he has some big brass ones because he took the fight in Montreal, Canada, and, yeah, definitely. and you know the odds were against him. Yeah. I mean, he came out booing, but you know he is still a champ. I think he'll make a good comeback. I took Sarah for the. I, I love GSP, but I thought Sarah could mm -hmm. keep going since yeah. he had already felt him out in the first round or first fight, and I definitely was wrong. Yeah. That, that well, Right. It's a tough fight. You have to go with the underdog. You have to go with the underdog, no matter how you look at it. And GS, GSP, you know, he, he did the same thing against Matt Hughes. He came in the first time, you know, was just shell shock and lost. Came back the second time and just dominated. And that's what he did here. He totally yeah. dominated. But you know what? GSP has some family problems, some other stuff. But he proved it that his head was clear and he wanted to be a champion again. And he just went out there and wow. GSP definitely seems like whenever he fights and loses, he kind of absorbs whatever that fighter uses against him. Uh -huh. And the next time, dominates. Oh, good point. Good point. Takes over his opponent. Like, I guess, you, you know, know, you got to lose some to win some, right? You know, now, he's a, now he's a champ. Uh, you know, 170, you know, we have John Fitch that has eight, eight wins in a row. You know, he should get the next shot. You know, that's going to be a really good fight. But, you know, GSP is on cloud nine right now. I, yeah, I, I don't his hometown think... definitely gave it up to, you know, his Man. family loss and yeah. everything. Made his family proud. <laughs> that was... But Sarah was great. Sarah looked good. He definitely got a little bit more tired. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just it was just a great game plan for GSP to just smash him on the ground and just take the win. Good knees of the body. You he know, I have to give it to GSP. So strong, GSP, just so, so strong and athletic. Totally athletic. Yeah. Did you like that? Yeah. Of course. So this is all rush. UFC 83 rush. That's what we're gonna call it. Rush. Just, just okay. Rush. I was like, I thought we were yeah. going. Yeah. Uh, you know, but okay. GSP clearly won this. He's the champion, two time. Walter Way champion. Just, just did a good job. So UFC 83, we're gonna name it Rush. Rush. That's it.
Hi guys, great show. Hope you enjoyed it. Send me some uh, emails, comments. Check out pawpatel.com. It's up and running. Still got some bugs and stuff. Thanks to NovusEye.com. They're really doing some really good features. We'll have a great aggregate for MMA news. And also, Strike Force is on NBC. Check that out. Go to the website. Go to strikeforce.usa. You know what? That's pretty much it. Wraps it up. So uh, thanks, guys. Inside the cage for a Fighter's Eye. See y'all again.